thinking is how did I make this thing sound, run, and smell so good? Uh, well, funny story, driving back from Harbor Freight, I had to get a little tubing notcher because uh, I lost mine. Um, in the move, it's here in a container somewhere, it just, I gave up looking for it. Uh, so I'm driving back from Harbor Freight and all of a sudden it sounds like a machine gun's going off. Uh, and I thought I broke an axle uh, and because it, it was clanging around and everything. Uh, but then it, then it just finally ended up making that noise. I pull over uh, and it shot a spark plug out. So uh, it stripped the threads out. Unfortunately, it took the threads with it. Uh, I'm not sure. It must have had damage before. I don't think that's a common problem for these geos. But uh, it is what it is. We're going to fix it. So the procedure that I'm going to use on this one uh, is similar to pretty much any vehicle with a stripped out spark plug. Um, and it's very common on Ford 5.4, Ford V10. Um, there's quite a few uh, of the Fords that have it because they don't have very many threads that it's actually uh, biting on. Uh, so they, they tend to strip these out a lot. And the procedure on this is going to be similar. Uh, this is going to be a little bit easier to see though. So let's get going. Of course, it's the one in the back. All right, there's the hole. So we got a good camera angle on it. Um, so the threads are stripped, but as you can see, if you can see in the camera, the it, it has a lot of threads. Um, so it's really surprising that those stripped out. Uh, someone must have over tightened those at one point. Um, I don't tighten spark plugs super tight, and and that could have caused it too, is if I didn't get it all the way tight. Um, but one thing I did notice on this thing when we, when I very first got it, before we changed the spark plugs on it, it had what sounded like an exhaust leak, and then after we changed the plugs, it went away. So it was obviously leaking by one of the spark plugs. Uh, so it's very possible, and it did sound like it was coming from back there it may have been that thread um, those threads had been giving out and when I tightened it I just didn't tighten it enough to notice that they were uh, that they were stripped out so what we're gonna use to fix it uh, let's zoom this out we're gonna use this guy here and so this is just Napa part number 2125 and this is a 14 millimeter um, oddly, it doesn't say the thread pitch, but it's 125 thread pitch uh, for spark plug replacement. So uh, it comes with four different inserts. Uh, and these inserts you can buy individually, but if you don't have the tap, you may as well just buy the kit if you're just doing the one. Um, and you're going to match up how many threads you have uh, by the length of the inserts that they give you. So in our situation, I believe we're going to be using the longest one. Um, if you're doing a Ford, uh, 5.4 or V10, you're probably going to be using the shorter one. Uh, so let's go double check that I'm right on that and we'll move forward. So you could measure the hole or you could just measure the spark plug itself. So this is the plug that came out of it and I'm going to make sure that that tube isn't too long. So it is maybe a little bit too long, probably wouldn't hurt anything. Uh, let's try the next one shorter and see if that's any better. So I can see already that's going to be a little short. I'm, gonna, I'm going to use the long one and the reason for that is because when you go to remove the spark plug the next time carbon is going to be a, have built up on those threads right there. Uh, and then when you go to take it out you'll probably end up taking your insert out instead of the spark plug out. So let's use the longer one in this scenario. Um, if it were sticking out beyond your electrode and stuff, we'd, we'd have to shorten it. Um, that, that would just be the reality of it. But this should be okay uh, the way it is, especially once we tighten it and squish that a little bit. Uh, that, should be, that should be plenty fine uh, in there. It's not going to hit the piston or that would hit the piston. So that should be good. So let's move the motor to top the, uh, so that that cylinder is, is straight up. Uh, and then we will move on from there. So I'm going to show you a little trick if you're by yourself when doing that. Uh, put it in fifth gear if you're a manual uh, and then you should be able to push it and it'll actually turn the motor and you'll have pretty good leverage on it. There it is right there. All right, so I'm going to spray brake cleaner in the hole and then we're going to immediately blow it out. I don't want it to soak through the rings, soak past the rings. And it's probably going to get all over the camera. So there is step one. All right, so now I went ahead and taped that for, so it won't fall out so that we don't have to keep reaching in there. 
So I'm gonna heat it up just a little bit and dip it into this bow lube. You could use normal cutting oil too. I just really don't wanna make anything that makes the chips stick, but if you, as long as you keep just the cutting oil on the tap itself, hopefully they won't, you won't get too many sticking inside the cylinder there. And we are gonna blow it out, and it is just aluminum, but at the same time. So make a 90 with it. And I'm just gonna put an X. And there, that's wire, so you're not gonna be able to go through that, but you should be able to cram that extension through there, hopefully. All right, after you poke your hole, just put it in there like that. That'll go around it. There's still enough space around that to where it'll create a vacuum. Uh, if you really wanted to sacrifice it, you could cut that flat. That would even make it better. Um, potentially better. If it seals up too hard on there, it won't actually create vacuum. So having a little bit of an angle probably isn't gonna hurt anything. Um, so let's turn on our vacuum and get to cutting. <laughs> All right, so just line up your line up your rat your extension with all the other spark plugs. So make making it the same angle, making sure you're going straight into the hole, uh, and then just go forward. And then if it gets a little tight, go just go backwards to cut the threads off, and then go forwards again and backwards until it goes all the way. And once it gets easy, uh, don't start don't keep going because you, you might you may run that uh, tap right into the top of the piston, and you don't really want to do that. Um, most likely, it wouldn't hurt it, but you, you don't want to do it. Anyway. I don't see anything in there now. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I'm gonna put it in with red Loctite, making sure I don't get any on the spark plug itself, uh, because then the spark plug itself might get stuck in the insert, and we don't want that. There we go, it's in there. So now that Loctite will dry and then the next time we go to take that plug out, hopefully that thread insert will stay in there. If it doesn't and it comes back out, we'll have to get another one and then try that again. But uh, worst case is the thread insert comes out next time we go to change plugs and we have to get another thread insert. Uh, but it most likely won't happen because this will dry and that will hold that in there really good, this red Loctite. Uh, let's put the intake back on, start it up, make sure it doesn't shoot out of there again. Ridiculous cold high idle of Nate Valve Tracker. 
Uh, it is it is so ridiculous, like 2,500 RPM. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, this is your what you're watching right now is the Death Toll Dually Shooting Flames at the No Balls Car Show. There's a link to that video in the description below. That video didn't do very well. Um, I don't know, really know what's wrong with it. Uh, I think it was, I think it's a really cool video, and not very many people watched it. Um, so anyway, check it out. Uh, the links in the description below. Otherwise, we'll see you again real soon. I got lots of cool stuff going to be coming out on this channel over the next year or so. So uh, hang in there and hit that subscribe button and everything else that people have cheesy ass lines for. Uh, and we will see you again real soon.